The very latest on the coronavirus in Connecticut. We expect new numbers from over the weekend a little later today. But as of Friday, the state's infection rate lingered just under 3%. And this comes as cases of COVID-19 are rising across the United States. On Friday, our country recorded its largest single day number of infections since the start of the pandemic. So we exceeded 80,000 cases. As the state's positivity rate increases, we're seeing more COVID cases inside our schools. Several Waterbury schools are trying to get a handle on coronavirus cases from over the weekend. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal is live right outside Wallace Middle School. Aya, do we know who tested positive there? Nicole, we know two students here at Wallace Middle School have tested positive, and so the whole entire middle school will be remote today as well as tomorrow. And this comes as we're seeing cases at several other Waterbury Public Schools where staff members are testing positive. At least seven staff members within the Waterbury Public School District tested positive for COVID over the weekend. Two are at the Waterbury Career Academy. The rest of the cases are at North End Middle School, Walsh Elementary School, Maloney Interdistrict Magnet School, Sprague Elementary School, and State Street School. None of those schools are closing down completely. Only impacted classrooms and individuals are doing distance learning. The school district is working with the city of Waterbury's contact tracing team to make sure proper notifications are made. Per the district's protocol, anyone who tests positive must isolate for at least 10 days and have medical documentation before returning back to the classroom. So again, all of Wallace Middle School will be remote today as well as tomorrow. Now we know impacted classrooms will continue with that distance learning through next Monday. In the meantime, the school is working on cleaning and disinfecting thoroughly. Live in Waterbury this morning, Aya Galal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.